Well, good morning. Quickie video, sort of. I'm going to do a test on my air conditioner to actually measure its performance. I, uh, I, I just recently had to replace the capacitor on my rooftop air conditioner, and uh, while I was researching that, I came across a video because I've got the Coleman Mock and I was on their website getting some manuals downloaded, and they had an article about the proper way to test our rooftop air conditioners to know that they're performing correctly. So, of course, I, and of course, the biggest thing about the test is having the correct tools. And fortunately, I already have, so I'm going to do that test. But I got to thinking, this might be a good tool for about almost any RVer on the road. Uh, I've got this about a year ago, and, and how I came across it is uh, down here at Tropical Palms, I met a, an electrical en engineer. And so I've been picking his brain a lot lately. And one, one thing we talked about was a good meter, because he understands looking at the specs of meters, you know, what's mediocre and what's really good. Because I've was, i been looking for something because I've been monkeying with uh, air conditioners, compressors for a little while. And I wanted something that will test um, lock, lock rotor amps, or I think it's called inrush. When they, at the moment the compressor comes on within milliseconds, the amp load, it, this device can measure it. Most, a lot of meters can't. Uh, but this is a clamping meter and it's got an inrush button on there. Another thing I noticed when I watched some YouTube videos of actual professional HVAC users or HVAC techs and I noticed they're using the same brand. It's called Field Piece and there's its model number. So I think they're about $175 but it, but it does so much. You know, if, you, if you're on the road and you have the air conditioning troubles, with this meter you can measure everything you need. It, it's got the, the temperature adapter here and you can see how sensitive it is what we got inside the rvs 83 degrees i pinch it in my fingers and you can see how quick it starts climbing so that's what i'm going to do i'm fixing to, to measure the inlet temperature and then the outlet temperature and it's according to the specs to coleman i should see between 16 and 22 degrees split so but also back to this little meter because it comes with regular test leads it's got some really good really good clamp clamp alligator clips comes with it but it's a it's a great tool and it does a lot, lot of stuff for for RVers. In fact, it'll do about anything you need because you just got AC, DC, you got your continuity testers. You know, of course, we got that. You, we can measure amp load on, on compressors, anything. If you need to ch check the uh, like a leg coming into your RV, how much amps it's pulling. So it'd be a great investment in your toolbox if you like new tools. And I like I like new tools. So here's my little test. Here's my, my plan anyway. Let me get it hooked up. Okay, you see I've got, got it hanging up here. And I've got it stuck right up into the air return. So I can measure the air temperature. So I'm going to let it run for there for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to, in turn, move it over to this return grill. And uh, let it, and it says to let it run for at least 15 minutes to, to get your uh, true difference between the intake and exhaust of the air conditioner to measure its performance. And Owen also said they want it uh, on the temperature of the day it has to be a minimum of 75 degrees and we're up in the 80s a day so it'll be just right. A little sidebar, I, I like my little doodads I put in here. It measures the, the amps on each leg. So to give an example, so when I turn this, I'm going to turn the fan only on it first and you'll see what the amp load is. Of course I've got some kind of amp, just 1.1 amps or pulling. So we'll kick this on. Oh, there's two. Let's see what happens. Fan only. So, so fan only is what? We'll play a little four amps. Okay, now I'm going to kick over to the compressor. We'll see what, how much difference this compressor kicks in. There it goes. So it already had maybe a two amp draw. So run about eight amps or so. Let's see what our temperature is. I pay to let that run for a little bit. Let make sure everything gets steady. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see I moved my temperature probe over into my exit on the air conditioner. And it's it's dropping like I think it started out at 82.4. And it says I need to let it run for at least 15 minutes. So we'll let this run for 15 minutes and so we'll see what, what we get down to, what kind of split we have. Oh, and then a tip in the autocloss all about testing these air conditioners. You can't, they say you can't trust these. 
these measure surface temperature, but it looks pretty close. I'm, I'm showing 81 degrees, it was, you know, it might be a couple degrees off, where the temperature probe actually me measures the true air temperature. So, uh, just to see it. But these things are handy to keep in your RV also for different things. Even like troubleshooting a misfire on the on the engine, you can shoot your engine ex exhaust, and if you got one exhaust pipe that's cooler than the others, then you you can find your misfire that way. If I haven't had a, a bad plug or something like that, I've, I've used, used it for that. Use it for checking wheel bearing temperatures, tire temperatures. Very handy device for your. If I need to do a video on just all my tools, that'd probably be a good one. Anyway, we're still letting the air run for 15 minutes and see what happens. Well, I'm really impressed. Look at there. So it's been running 15 minutes. I'm measuring 56 degrees. So I've got a 26 degree difference. A lot better than I thought. I didn't, I didn't expect that much difference. So I guess that means after 16 years, these rooftop airs, these Mach 2s, are still doing their job. Because I recently cleaned them really well, too, so they should be at, at optimum. And then I also installed this grill, and I got a video of this. It's called a chill grill, and it helps improve the airflow a little bit, I believe. Because the original one had just this, I had to unscrew and screw back up the, the grill every time to clean the filter. It was a real pain. Now I can just pop this out and change the filter, pop it back in. And then also if I want to dump air straight out into the room, I just open these up. And you can tell by the sound, uh, it, it's, it's moving more air, and I've watched the amp load change, so it, I, think it, I think it turns the air over a lot quicker in the RV. So if, you, if you're looking for an inch more performance, this chill grill may, may benefit you. Uh, just check out, check out my video. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Oh, and have a great day.